Samsung is gearing up for the Galaxy S25 series launch early next year and testing for the upcoming models is in full swing. Recently, the Galaxy S25 Ultra and its 200 megapixel sensor were spotted on camera FE5, giving us a detailed look at its camera specifications. The US carrier variant of the Galaxy S25 Ultra appeared in the camera FV5 listing, showcasing details such as focal length, aperture, resolution, and more. Here's a closer look at the data. Lens 23.2mm, 35mm equivalent, provides a standard focal length for balance perspective and sharpness. 6.3mm actual, refers to the lens's physical focal length, f1.7 aperture, enhances low light performance and controls depth of field effectively. EIS, electronic image stabilization, ensures stable video recording and reduces image blur. Field of view. 75.7 horizontal, captures wide landscapes effortlessly. 60.5 vertical, complements the horizontal fold for a balanced composition. 1x magnification factor, indicates no optical zoom for the primary lens. Sensor. Sensor area, 71.9 mm2, Provides ample light gathering capability, enhancing image quality. Pixel size, 2.4 millimeters. Indicates large individual pixels for better detail and reduced noise. Image output, maximum resolution. 4080x3060 delivers 12.5 megapixel images through 16 to 1 pixel binning. Picture format, JPEG slash DNG. Supports both compressed and raw formats for versatility. Focusing. Auto slash manual focus offers flexibility for precise focus adjustments. Infinity focus, ideal for capturing distant subjects. Minimum focusing distance, 0.10 meters, allows for detailed close-up shots. Hyperfocal distance, 4.86 meters, maximizes depth of field for sharp focus over a wide range. Exposure and ISO, manual exposure range, 111977 to 16 seconds covers both ultra fast and relatively slow shutter speeds iso range of call 3200 provides adaptability to various lighting conditions maximum analog iso 1500 ensures good detail retention in high sensitivity settings the primary camera of the s25 ultra features a 23.2 mm equivalent focal length and an f1.7 aperture by default, the sensor produces 12.5 megapixel images at a maximum resolution of 4080x3060 pixel with a sensor area of 71.9 mm2. While the listing doesn't explicitly confirm the full resolution of the 200 megapixel sensor, the Galaxy S25 Ultra is expected to deboot Samsung's updated ISOCELL HP2 image sensor with improvements over its predecessors. In addition to the 200 megapixel primary sensor, the Galaxy S25 Ultra is rumored to include a new 50 megapixel ultra wide lens, Samsung Jan 3, a 10 megapixel telephoto lens, IMX 754, with 3x optical zoom and a 50 megapixel periscope lens, IMX 854, offering 5x optical zoom and up to 100x digital zoom. One thing we can confidently say about the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra's price is that it won't be cheap. Samsung's Ultra models have consistently featured top-tier components and in recent years have included impressive extras like Galaxy AI and a built-in S Pen for on-screen creativity. Naturally, all of this comes with a premium price tag. So what do we know about the price of the Galaxy S25 Ultra? While the exact cost won't be confirmed until a phone officially launches early next year, there's enough information available to make a well-informed guess. The best case scenario for potential buyers would be for the pricing to remain unchanged from last year. For reference, the Galaxy S24 Ultra starts at $1,299.99 for the 256 gigs model, going up to $1,659.99 for the 1TB version. Although this feels somewhat optimistic, and we'll discuss why shortly, there's one argument supporting this view. Last year's starting price of $1,299.99 was already a $100 hike over the Galaxy S23 Ultra. Samsung might decide that fans won't tolerate two significant price increases in consecutive years and choose to keep prices steady, possibly offsetting the US rate by higher costs in other regions. Unfortunately, there are two compelling reasons why the Galaxy S25 Ultra's price could still climb in 2025. First is inflation. 
The rising cost of goods and services hasn't gone unnoticed, and while inflation has slowed recently, smartphone manufacturers like Samsung aren't immune to increasing component prices. One major contributor to these rising costs is the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Elite SoC, which is set to power all three Galaxy S25 models. Analyst Ming Chi Ku estimated back in June that this chip could cost 25 to 30 percent more than the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, which has powered the best Android phones this year. Beyond the processor, there's the overall cost of materials. Last month, the Weibo leaker Setsuna Digital suggested that parts for the S25 Ultra could cost over $110 more. If this projection holds and the entire cost increase is passed on to consumers, the S25 Ultra's starting price could climb to $1,409. However, there are reasons to doubt this worst-case scenario. For starters, Samsung scale gives it substantial bargaining power, enabling it to negotiate significant volume discounts with suppliers. More importantly, a $1,409 base price would make the S25 Ultra $210 more expensive than the iPhone 16 Pro Max, even with the Snapdragon 8 Elite's advantages, and they are considerable. Such a price difference would be a risky commercial move. The reality likely lies somewhere between these two extremes. Samsung isn't a charity, nor is it unaffected by rising costs, so a price hike seems probable. That said, raising the price by $100 for a second consecutive year seems excessive. Taking everything into account, a starting price of $1,349 seems the most plausible outcome. However, we won't have confirmation until Samsung officially unveils the Galaxy S25 lineup likely toward the end of next month. The official spare parts now listed on a website that deals in spare parts have revealed the Galaxy S25 Ultra's color options. This update comes just days after similar listings for the Galaxy S25 and S25 Plus appeared on the same site. The parts in question are SIM card trays for the Galaxy S25 Ultra, which are available in four colors, titanium black, titanium blue, titanium gold, and titanium silver. These colors align with earlier rumors. While there have also been reports about potential online exclusive shades, those aren't reflected in these listings. The rumored online exclusive options available only through Samsung's official store are said to include titanium jade green and titanium pink gold. However, these claims remain unsupported by solid proof. Final confirmation on these colors will likely arrive during the Galaxy S25 series official unveiling. Some color options are expected to be limited to specific markets, continuing a pattern seen with previous Galaxy flagships. To find out which colors will be available in your region, you'll need to check Samsung's website once pre-orders or sales for the Galaxy S25, S25 Plus, and S25 Ultra begin. Also recently, the Samsung Galaxy S25 lineup has been making its way through certification agencies worldwide, with its latest stop being the FCC. While the listing doesn't reveal much, it does confirm a few noteworthy details. For instance, the documents confirm that the standard Galaxy S25 will lack the UAB feature, which will only be included in the S25 Ultra and S25 Plus models. Furthermore, the S25 Plus and S25 Ultra will support 45-watt charging while the S25 continues with 25-watt charging for yet another year. Interestingly, the listing also indicates that the S25 will feature slower wireless charging capped at 9 watt compared to the 15 watt standard we've seen in recent years. That's it for today. What's your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section. As always, see you in the next video. Peace out.